I challenged myself to activate every single easter egg song on every map from world at war to cold war zombies but i have a time limit i have to do it in under eight hours or i can never play zombies again and surprisingly some of these easter egg songs were incredibly difficult to activate believe it or not i haven't activated like 99 percent of the easter egg songs in all of zombies i was never really interested in listening to them and since most of them are copyrighted i could never play them on streams or vids either so i thought why not just activate them all in one day but yeah there is a bunch of songs so i apologize if i did miss one i tried to get all of them i literally did these all back to back so you know just going from one game to another uh, i hope i just didn't miss one man if you guys do enjoy these sort of challenges i would this took a very long time to record and edit and i would really really appreciate it so let's start at the beginning with the first ever zombies map nocturne and toten so on the world at war version of noct since it is the first zombies map ever it doesn't really have much of an easter egg but at least has something the easter egg song name is called wtf and the way you activate it is by damaging a radio until it plays the radio we're talking about is the one that's inside of the mystery box room so we gotta actually buy the help door the radio does play quite a bit of songs as well so we gotta sift through a couple of songs until it plays wtf so now that we have enough for the door, let's go ahead and get it. So this is the radio I was talking about. We're going to knife this a couple of times. It actually took quite a minute to get the song, but finally, we got it to play. It was actually nice to listen to all the other songs as well. They all sound pretty good. This radio is really, really nice, especially if you're going for some high rounds on Noct. Got to play a little bit of tunes, you know what I'm saying? Luckily, Treyarch remastered Nocturne and Tone a couple of times, so they had a chance to add a new Easter egg song. Now we're on the Black Ops 1 version of Noct, and the song we want to activate is called Undone. This song can be activated on both Black Ops 1 and the Black Ops 3 version, but I did want to show a little bit of love to Black Ops 1, since there is a Black Ops 3 song we have to activate a little bit later on. So, the way to activate this one is by shooting three specific barrels around the map. I honestly wasn't too sure which barrels they were. I'm kind of blind, not gonna lie. So I started to shoot all of the barrels around the map. <laughs> but we finally got it here, and it actually sounds pretty good. These knock songs are fire, bro. This one was a little bit hard. I couldn't see the freaking barrel that I had to shoot. Apparently, you're only supposed to shoot three barrels. I didn't know which ones exactly to shoot, so I just shot all of them, and I did not see the one that was over there. The fog was in the way. The fog is coming. The fog is coming. The fog is coming. Now we're on the Black Ops 3 version of Nocturne and Toten. With the remastered version, they did add one more Easter egg song called Samantha's Lullaby. And we get it by doing a little bit of a quest, which is kind of cool. I like this. So the way we get this song is by interacting with some buttons around the map, which I didn't even know were there. And we also got to shoot the Samantha dolls. It's very similar to the Garad Krovi Easter egg song, where we got to shoot the Samantha dolls. So yeah let's get to it so that's one of the buttons i guess we'll go ahead and grab that one did i get it yeah i heard it i heard it i heard it we definitely got that one aha that's where it's at i was wondering where the hell it was and of course these spawns are slow as hell ah there it is Bro, these things are really hidden. I wonder who the hell found this out. So this is the last one. There we go. That is the sound we want to hear. All right, so now there should be a Samantha doll somewhere here. Oh, okay, no, that's not it. Oh, there it is. God, these things are so small. Forgot we could actually interact with it. Since this was my first time trying this, this part was really hard at first. Bro, it sounds so close. Come on. Damn it, man. We actually failed it. Oh my god. So the good thing about this is that we can actually keep on doing this. It doesn't matter. We don't have to end the round or anything. Uh, but I do hear it over here somewhere. Aha! There it is. Let's go!
Oh, there it is. Oh. Ah, uh, zombie. Get away from me. Sounds like it's in here. Ah, oh, there it is. That actually wasn't too bad. <laughs> Luckily, you know, there isn't many spots it could be. Because it's such a small map, so it's not too hard to find. But there we are. Should be getting a max ammo. And there is the song. Well, we're finally done with Nocturne Toen, so let's move over to the next map, Varakt. There actually is some steps we gotta follow to activate an Easter egg song. What we gotta do is flush the toilet three times, and it should play Lullaby of a Dead Man. So let's get to it. So we got enough to get to the toilets. This is the one we're gonna interact with three times. Gotta love flushing toilets in zombies. I mean, come on, who doesn't do this? Alright, that's the last time. Alright, we got it. Sweet! Imagine you flush the toilet three times IRL and it actually plays a song. That would be crazy. So here we are on Shinonuma where we gotta activate the Easter egg song called The One. Where we gotta go to the calm room and interact with the phone three times shouldn't be too bad honestly most of the steps for the world at war maps seem pretty simple and straightforward so it's actually pretty cool wow that was actually perfect okay let's get to it it's gonna be a little bit scary doing this mid round though i'll definitely say that what is this a thousand Oh, it's 750. All right, it should be playing sometime soon. <laughs> These zombies are loud as hell. Oh, there it is. We got it. Let's go. Now we're on to the Black Ops 3 version of Shino Numa, where we're going to be activating the song Samantha's Sorrow, which does involve us going through the Samantha dolls again, which is pretty cool. Now, what kind of sucks is that Samantha's Sorrow was also added to the Black Ops 3 version of Verrucked, so we're only going to be doing this quest on Shino Numa, and we're not going to be doing it on Verrucked, since it's pretty much the same song, and pretty much the same uh, quest, too, since we got to do the dolls again. But I decided to do it on Shino Numa, since I haven't played Shino Numa in a long time. Especially the Chronicles version. This version, I don't think I played that much either whenever it came out. Alright, so we got to start the quest over here in the fishing huts. we got to shoot these plates in a specific order. It's this one. That one. That one. And then... Boom. Alright. <laughs> there it is. And then the doll should be... Somewhere? Is it in that one? I think it's like a pile of trash. Not sure which one it is, though. Is it over here? Actually, is it out here? Oh, we somehow got it. Okay, sweet. So, the dolls, I believe, are going to be spawning around here. Is it going to be playing a song just like the other ones? Yeah. There it is. Okay. This one... Oh, it went backwards. Wait, they all spawned right next to each other. <laughs> Sweet. Why was it not this easy? We gotta go back here. Interact with it. Grab the max ammo and the song. Should be played. There it is. Easy peasy. What's cool about these Easter eggs too is that it actually gives you a max ammo. So if you're going for high rounds of these maps, you definitely want to have this up your sleeve in case you're low on ammo. It'll come in super clutch. All right, so here we are on Doris, where we're going to be playing one of the classic Easter egg songs, Beauty of Annihilation. So we're going to interact with brains that are around the map. They're in like a container filled with green liquid. So 
uh, very interesting. We actually do have to open up quite a bit of doors, so we got to stack up on some points. So there are two brains here. It's kind of cool that they're right next to each other. So we got this one, boom, and then we got this one right here, boom. Now the last one is in the room over here where the teleporter is at. So we got to actually turn the power on to get over to the other side. And boom. That took a little bit of a minute. I thought I didn't activate it for a second. Moving over to Black Ops 1. This is like the most played Easter egg song, I feel like. I mean, who hasn't played 115 in a game before? That is the first stone of three. We do gotta go. We actually pretty much gotta open up the entire map, actually. We gotta go over to the theater. We're going to turn power on and then go up to this side of the map, uh, to the left of the stage. And that's where we're going to find the last meteorite we got to interact with. All right, now we have enough to get to the dressing room. This is where the second meteorite is going to be at. It's going to be right here. Got him. Holy crap, I got the perfect amount for it. All right, let's go. And there we are. 115. A classic, man. This one never gets old. This is actually, I think, the perfect Easter egg song. It's so good and it fits zombies just so well, man. I mean, trust me, there are really, really good songs later on. But I feel like this song just embodies Black Ops 1 zombies, just like all together. It's freaking sick. Now, on to 5. Where we gotta activate three different songs. So, this is the first one. There we are. Yes! That's exactly what I needed. Oh. Um, that was not planned. <laughs> oh my. I will just deaded myself okay so there's one here on the table somewhere right there we turn the power on now we gotta pretty much get to pack a punch go 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 and then there we are this is actually a really really cool one because it plays an Eminem song that's crazy to see in zombies So freaking awesome, man. What? <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> now time for the first DLC map for Black Ops 1. Ascension introduces us to the classic teddy bears. Everybody that's played zombies before knows when there's a teddy bear around. You gotta interact with it. It's only instinct. But on Ascension, the bears are holding sickles, which is a 10 out of 10 bear accessory. It's always really, really cool whenever the bears are kind of like themed around the map like on moon whenever the bear is wearing the astronaut helmet but after finding the bears we get to listen to another classic song abracadaver i believe that's how you pronounce that i am not good with names and i have a feeling i'm gonna butcher like all of the songs but that is the song we're gonna be listening to in a bit <laughs> there's one over aha there it is let's grab that real quick Okay, so the next one is over near Stamina. I, this is the one that I've never seen. Uh, I do know it's in that general location, but I actually don't know exactly where it's at, so hopefully I can actually find this. Okay, I actually got to get rid of some of these zombies. I didn't, uh, didn't think about the zombies. So, oh my god. Oh my god, I did not think I was going to make it out of that. Okay, let me throw one here. I can't even look for the teddy bear, I have no idea. Oh, 
Oh, it's right here. Yes. Yes. Jeez, that one was actually kind of hard. Mainly the zombies made that one a little bit difficult. It's actually kind of hard to see right there through the gate. There it is. Of course, I can't play the entire song, unfortunately, so we're going to have to move on. So here we are on Call of the Dead, where we got to find some meteorites. We're going back to that. And the Easter egg song for Call of the Dead is called Not Ready to Die by Avenge Sevenfold. I'm pretty excited to hear this song because Avenge Sevenfold never misses. So there are three meteorites we got to interact with. There is one here in the spawn room, which is right here. Then there's another one on the boat, and then there's another one where PhD is at. What's good about this one is that we only have to open up that first door. Then it's straight ahead right here. Right on the left uh, seat. So yeah, this is the one I don't know. Oh, there it is. I definitely was not just spamming F around this area. <laughs> I gotta get rid of some of these zombies. Let's go! Ooh. Gotta give this a 10 out of 10. Great song. So we're here on Shangri-La. We're gonna find more meteorites. And there is one here in spawn. Now, I have no idea where it's at. It's supposed to be kind of like here where Quick Revive is at. There's another one here where the walls are moving. And then there's a third one in the mining area next to the Semtexes. So, we gotta get to it. But the song for Shangri-La is called Paradolia. Dude, I definitely did not pronounce that one right. But, <laughs> but yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> I'm definitely not just holding <laughs> F on everything. Let me see. No, I didn't mean to buy. No. Oh, I found it. Aha. Okay, sweet. <laughs> okay, we can open up to this side now. So, this is where there's another meteorite. Now, I'm not sure exactly where it's at, but we got to watch out for one. Oh, no. This is really, really not good. I'm looking for the meteorite. Oh. <laughs> is it this? Oh, what the hell it is? Okay, that looks nothing like the other meteorites. That kind of looks like the one on Kino. Whoa, that's actually kind of crazy. They're all not going to look the same. That's not good. That kind of looks like this. It just looks like normal. Unless... It was just like next to it. There's gonna be one in the broken wall. Somewhere there's a broken wall over here. Oh, it's right here. Oh, wow, this one started instantly. Nice. I haven't heard this one, so let's see what it sounds like. Oh yeah, this one's good. This is a good one. I like the Shangri-La one. And it's crazy too, I've played Shangri-La so many damn times, and I had no clue there was a meteor in this room. <laughs> now we're on to the final DLC map for Black Ops 1, where we gotta interact with teddy bears once more to play the song Coming Home. I'm pretty excited to hear this one. I've never heard this one before. I do know where the first teddy bear location's at because I feel like everybody has grabbed it, but I don't know where the other two are at. So it's going to be quite an adventure to find out where they're at. So let's get to it. This is the only teddy bear I know the exact location of. Uh, I always see this one every time, so. I can't even hear like the activation noise, so I'm just going to assume that I did it right. I maybe should have bought a weapon. Um, the second teddy bear is supposed to be somewhere around here, near this tunnel. Let me actually save a zombie. That's what we're going to do. And then we'll have a look around. 
No, that is not good. Wait, maybe it's in here? Oh, what the hell? There it is. Okay, sweet. There's the second bear. <laughs> I thought it was in the other part of the tunnel. Okay. Now the other one is over here. It's next to stamina, so we're going to have to open up this door and then the other one. I think I have just enough for that as well. So it's somewhere in here. Oh, it's right there. Okay, that's awesome. It actually plays <laughs> in the helmet. What the hell? <laughs> Dempsey just said the artist that made the song. What the hell? This is so weird. So this Easter egg song didn't really take that long. And I wasn't really planning on doing any of the remixes for Moon. Because there's a lot of remixes. It has like a couple of 8-bit songs. But I kind of want to hear one of them. So let's go ahead and activate the classic damned song it's called redamned on moon and the way we activate it is by interacting with the button that is on a terminal near the biodome it's pretty simple and it's pretty cool you can only hear it in this area you don't actually hear it all around the map that's a classic right there we did have to wait for the first one to end which kind of sucks but at least we got both of them it actually didn't take that long so that's really really awesome bro who finds this stuff out man Moving on to Transit, where Transit's Easter egg song is called Carry On. And again, we got to interact with some teddy bears. Now, what's pretty cool about Transit is that there's actually a couple of songs that were supposed to be on Transit or were like rumored to be on Transit, but they're actually not. There was supposed to be a song by Avenged Sevenfold and Skrillex that was going to be on Transit, which is pretty cool, but I guess it got scrapped or something. Okay, so there's supposed to be a teddy bear on a bench somewhere here. Okay, there it is. There's one. This teddy bear is missing an eye. Unfortunate. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to make it all the way to farm, pretty much. We might have to get a little bit more points. Because we got to open up this door, actually. So. There is. Supposed to be one on a mattress. Oh, right here. Isn't it like 750? Okay. So there's supposed to be one over oh, here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. The start of this one is already good. Wait, I'm stuck. Now, no, we could have listened to the entire thing. Now we are on Die Rise, where the Easter egg song is called "We All Fall Down." That is the perfect song for Die Rise. <laughs> but again we got to interact with some teddy bears now i do know where two of the locations are for the teddy bears there's one here in the power room i see this one all the time uh it's right there on that table and then the next one is over here in the svu room this one i always see a lot as well this one like sticks out a lot but the last one is in the buddha room this bear actually took quite a minute for me to find. I was a little scared that it was going to be on this top floor. So I wanted to make sure it wasn't here first. Because it sucks when you fall down. You have to go all the way around the map to get back up. But after looking for it for a little minute, I decided to go up to this part here. And uh, I, I seen it right there in front of me. Uh, it kind of sucks that for Die Rise, my audio was really, really messed up. It was super scuffed, bro. <laughs> um, so I'm sorry you guys couldn't hear my first reaction to it. I love the song, though. It is really, really good. Hardcore rock songs. So what's interesting about where we're going is that I've actually never activated it in-game. I've only ever activated the Rusty Cage song. I love that song so much, man. It's so good. Every time I have a chance... Uh, I do activate it. Uh, if I'm streaming or something, obviously I can't because it is copyright claimed. But, man, every time I play alone, I got to activate that song. Of course, we're going to open the door for free. Hopefully, we got key at... Yes, we do. We got key there. Okay, so let's open up the showers as well. We got to get the key. Yeah, one more. Whoa, but this guy's really close to me. <laughs> God, I love opening doors for free. Isn't it awesome? I don't have to worry about, like, powering anything on either. So we just gotta open this up. Obviously, I'll have to go into Afterlife. Let's take advantage of going to Afterlife. Bind the door. Here, we have to actually type in 935. I know that on Blood of the Dead, there is um, another Easter egg where you type in 666. And it spawns in a Brutus. But 935. Should play something. 
There it is. God. Dude, I get goosebumps every time I listen to this song. It's just such a good song, man. I don't even know, man. It's such a good song. I love this song. Oh, I actually can't. I have to wait until the song's over to activate the next one. You know what, actually? Let's go power everything on over here. We gotta wait for the song to end. This is the one bad thing about having two Easter egg songs on one map. There's the bottle that finally let me activate it. We had to wait a little bit for the other song to end. That's okay. Now, the final one is Infirmary. It's right... Right here, here. There we go. The next Easter egg song we're going to be playing is called Always Running. And we got to interact with more bears. And there should be one around here in the Quick Revive room. Honestly, it's so damn dark. It's supposed to be on, like, the hay barrels? What the hell? Oh, oh, right here. I thought it was that hay barrel. Wait, this actually might be one of the faster ones. We got to get Leroy out. Especially since I can just get points crazy fast without even killing zombies. Is there one here? There's supposed to be one. Is it in here? Oh, we're here. I'm an idiot. I gotta try to get as many points from this as I can. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it and just do this. I would go further, but I don't trust myself. Please. That is literally straight. Thank God. 15. Okay, I think I need 2,000 to get into the witch's house, which is the last one. <laughs> Dude, what a clutch nuke. We're chilling, though. All we need to do is just get into the witch's house. There's apparently a teddy bear near the double tap machine. I don't know exactly where. All I know is that it's somewhere there. Yes. 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 Okay. Um. So it's somewhere in here. Is it there? Oh, it's right here, right here. We got it. We got it. We got it. Jesus, I couldn't even listen to it. <laughs> I got demolished. I tried to train in there. I completely forgot about Nuketown, but I did want to include it for this video because it does have a cool process for getting some of these Easter egg songs. So, Nuketown doesn't actually have like a new song or an exclusive song that's linked to Nuketown. It has like a bunch of remixes from other songs. So, the first Easter egg song we're going to be going for is called Redamned. We're doing Redamned again, but the way to get it is by getting the population counter down to 15 and then the clock has to be at 1. Once we have that, we gotta go to the back of the yellow house to buy the power up, pick up the power up, and the song will play. Now on to the next easter egg song, it's called Samantha's Lullaby, it might sound familiar, but we get it by interacting with all three of the teddy bears. There was one in the bus, then there's one here on the bunk bed, and the next one is in the back of the greenhouse in the garden area. I did have a little trouble getting this one, I didn't know it was actually outside of the map, but I seen it right there, and boom, that is Samantha's Lullaby activated. Samantha's Lullaby was very easy to activate, but now we're on to a more difficult one to activate. So, this is a classic Nuketown Easter egg. What we got to do is shoot the heads off of all of the mannequins on the map. This is very similar to the multiplayer Easter eggs that we've seen, but it's pretty cool to see it in zombies. This one was pretty annoying though because the mannequins spawn in randomly it's never going to be the same in any of the games so i'd look everywhere i was able to shoot the heads off of most of the mannequins but i did miss one and that one took me like 10 minutes to find i even looked outside of the map bro i could not find this mannequin i was looking in the cars i was looking outside of the map i was looking in between everywhere and it turned out to be in between the rock and this house bro 
How were you supposed to find this one? This one was really difficult to find, but the Easter egg song that we got was called Coming Home. Now, this could also play Paradoily, I believe. The way to activate both of the songs is the exact same. You have to go around the map shooting the mannequin heads off. So I'm assuming maybe it's like a 50-50 chance to get either one. But I got Coming Home, so yeah. <laughs> So now we're on to Black Ops 2 Origins. Now there is three Easter egg songs on the Black Ops 2 version. Let's start off with the first one, Archangel, um, which is activated by interacting with green meteorite pieces. I don't think I've ever seen green meteorite pieces on Origins, but uh, looks like there's one here in the spawn room. Let's go ahead and look for it real quick. I really do not know where a green meteorite would be there is great evil oh this never mind i have seen that <laughs> looks like we do actually have to open like a good amount of the map um so yeah this one might actually take a good amount of time okay so there's also one here in the workshop apparently Near a bunk bed? I cannot keep firing for much longer. Oh, right here, right here. Did I activate this one? Hold on. I didn't hear the noise. Okay, there we go. Why was that so weird? It, like, did not let me activate until I was standing up. You should not have... Okay, so the next one is like around here. Oh, it's right here. This one's bug too. I guess. I guess it's a thing that it won't let you. I need ammo urgently. It won't let me activate it. Come on. What is going on? Come on, I want to get out of this spot. Dude, I gotta go. I can't even activate it. So it looks like, yeah, the uh, rocks are a little bit bugged. Uh, very interesting. I mean, I never tried to activate this Easter egg song, so I didn't even know that was a thing. But apparently it is. Oh, there it is. I played it. Yes. Yes. So next we'll do Shepherd of Fire, which is the uh, intro song of the map. I'm looking forward to playing this one. This song is good. Honestly, anything Avenged Sevenfold is amazingly good. Since there is multiple songs on this map, we do have to let the song actually play through. So uh, it won't actually let us activate any other songs. At least it didn't for Marvel of the Dead, so I'm assuming it doesn't. Because Marvel of the Dead, it wouldn't let me pick up the bottle until the song ended. So I'm pretty sure we just have to wait. Okay, maybe should have picked up the disc. I foregore to pick up the disc. Bro, let me get the insta-kill, man. Let me get the insta-kill! How have I not picked it up? Bruh. Dude. <laughs> Holy crap, that was insane. While this song is playing, I gotta look for a red radio. I wonder how obvious that is. Okay, the, the song is over now. But where the hell is this red radio? I'm just holding down F, hoping for the best. It says it's near a possible Max's part, which makes me think it's like around here. But... But I don't see a red radio. This is the radio. This is the radio I think it is. But it won't let me interact with it. Is this bug too? Let me go try a different radio to see if maybe that's it. Because I think that is the radio. But for some reason it doesn't let me interact with it. I do want to go to a different one just to see if I uh, can find the same radio. Just to kind of confirm that it is that one. 
Um, I gotta find the disc though. Oh yeah, it is that radio. But I guess it doesn't let me play. See, yeah, this one didn't let me activate it. Wait, I think I heard the noise. I think I heard the activation noise. Let's go try to get the other one over here. It looks like... So, I, this time... I'm trying, like, a bunch of different things. But I held down the button. And I thought that I heard it. Um, so, let's go try it at the one that's in the excavation site. And then, hopefully it is, man. Maybe I... Maybe I activated this one already? Okay. I... Th I... I, I want to say that I activated them. Hey, the rock was bugged, so I wouldn't doubt it if the radios are also bugged. But let's go into the robot. It's the one that patrols the church. And we'll go in there, and if it lets me activate it, that's good. And hopefully the song will actually play, because that will be the last one. I believe that I activated that one in the excavation. Maybe I didn't hear it because of the zombie screaming. But, you know, the other ones are pretty obvious. This, for some reason, is just not working. Okay, it's right side. Let's go. Right here. Please. It actually did work. What? I was just about to pause. It actually worked. It actually worked. Oh my god. I was going to look it up to see if maybe it was bugged. Dude, I did not hear a single like sound from that. Let's go. I'm glad it worked. <laughs> yes. Okay, so now we got to listen to Shepherd of Fire and then we'll do the last song which is called Ether. Pretty interesting name. This is a classic though. I love this song. Honestly, sometimes I just let the intro of Origins play out. It's so good. All right, Shepherd of Fire just ended. It's time for the last Black Ops 2 Easter egg song. It's called Aether. And uh, we actually have to go to Generator 1 here. So we got to stand on... we got to go prone here on these. There it is. On the number ones. And then we go over to Gen 5. And we do the same thing, but on the 5. And as you can tell, it's 115. Pretty cool. I wonder who the hell found this out. But uh, it's really, really awesome. <laughs> Let's see how this Easter egg song sounds. Let's see. A whole nother vibe. I mess with it though. Ooh, DC. I feel. Now we are moving on to the Black Ops 3 version of Origins where they did add in a new song. I do like that they did this for some of the remastered maps. It's pretty awesome. But this time around, they added a pretty cool one. We actually have to build all four of the staffs. And we got to shoot something with each one of the staffs. So it's going to be pretty fun. I do love building the staffs on Origins. So I'm pretty excited to actually try this. This one might actually take a bit more time though. But it's nice to be back on Black Ops 3 Origins. I usually like to play the original versions of maps. But the remastered maps are pretty fun to come back to every now and then. Alright. There's the disc for the wind. I'm going to go ahead and grab stamina up. Oh, let's see if I can get the... Oh, it's all the way over there. Can I make it? I might be able to. Actually, e no, I don't think there are. I, I, there's no way I'm going to make it. Yeah. No! What? How did I miss? I actually missed, bro. How? I almost clutched it. Dude, wow. How did I miss? I thought for sure I was going to hit it. <laughs> no, dude, no. All right, first staff. 
Surprisingly, it's the lightning one. Flash, they don't see you so well. Now we have all the staffs. Let's go ahead and shoot this thing up here. So the fire one is supposed to be right there. And then the lightning one. The zombie is kind of annoying. <laughs> then we'll go right here. That should have hit. And then the ice one. Let's see what you can do. That also should have hit. I hope this is working you're actually supposed to be in zombie blood mode or whatever but there we go we did it but you actually can do it without zombie blood which is why we were able to do it so now we have to go down to the crazy place and we got to interact with some samantha dolls i'm gonna take the fire stuff i think um just because i like the fire stuff <laughs> and i think it's a lot better right now especially non-upgraded finally we're nearing the end of this easter egg song we just gotta deal with the samantha dolls and that's it. Yep, there's a Samantha doll. We shoot that. Oh, wait, never mind. We gotta interact with it. <laughs> we don't shoot it yet. And then they all spawn around here. I believe this time there's six. There we go. That should be the song activated. What's cool also is that we get a max ammo from this, which I did not know. Are we supposed to shoot this one? Oh, we are. Oh, wait, what? We're supposed to shoot another one. Wait, there... I didn't... <laughs> I thought we were only supposed to do this once. Oh, damn it. The stupid wall blocked me. I wonder if I'm supposed to let it go up. Because it's uh kind of similar to, like, the Easter egg step, the final Easter egg step, where the Maxis drone goes all the way up. So, maybe I just got to let it go up? Oh, it's up there now. <laughs> Hopefully this worked. Oh, okay. I guess it did. So now it should be playing. There we go. Yes. Yes. All right. Now we're done with the last Origins Easter egg song. Origins has quite a lot of songs, actually. Uh, and they're all pretty good. So I'm pretty happy that we finally got it. Let's move on to the next map. Now we're moving on to Shadows of Evil, where there are actually two Easter egg songs. One, we got to interact with radios around the map. And then the other one we get by actually collecting some parts around the map. And then we go to the burlesque to play it. So it's pretty cool. We got one that's like a traditional, you know, kind of interact with one thing around the map. And then we have one that's kind of like a quest. I do like that a lot. So I'm going to be starting off with the Easter egg song that you uh, get by interacting with all the radios. And it's called Snakeskin Boots. I'm going to try to get these 500 points. Oh, I actually got it. First try? Now, I don't actually know what, like, the radio is supposed to look like. It's apparently on a desk somewhere, though. I'm surprised there wasn't a small Easter egg for the toilets, like on Verruckt. That would have been a cool callback. Maybe it's up here. Oh, there it is. All right, so let's just ride the tram. The next area we have to go to is the Ruby Rabbit, which is in the Canals District. So I'll just use the tram. Plus, um, I actually don't have to like open up any doors if I use the tram. So I just got to go in the beast mode. <laughs> There's a another one here let's see if i can actually hit this oh i actually got it <laughs> no way i mean it didn't really save that much time but we got in so there's supposed to be one in here too on a desk as well oh there it is yeah there it is that was it that was it that was it ah damn and xmo can't go wrong with that now, the next one is at the Footlight District. It's uh, supposed to be where the tram is at, so that's perfect. Here, it's supposed to be on a bench. See. Oh, there it is. We got it to activate. I thought I didn't for a second. All right, sweet. The song is over. 
Actually, I'm going to save that zombie. So I opened up a good amount of the map now, but we do want to start the next song. So to activate the next song, we got to collect a bunch of parts. What's well, only really three. We got to collect a wire, a microphone stand, and a microphone. Now, since we're here at spawn already, might as well get the microphone stand, which is here in Nero's uh, spot, which is supposed to be somewhere near that. Now, I wonder if there's actually going to be like a like sound i don't even know if i got it i don't think i heard a sound though okay um it's supposed to be right here though i'm just gonna hold f <laughs> see if i uh maybe can just collect it hopefully i got it <laughs> i guess we'll go over to the wire now i'm pretty sure i collected it i spammed f everywhere the next one's supposed to be here where the stairs are at Oh, there it is. I saw it. I saw it. Okay, so, yeah, there is no sound. Interesting. Dude, whoever found this out is a legend, man. So now we got to collect the microphone, which is underground. It's in the subway station, so let's go through here. I think I opened this one. Yeah, I did. Let's get it, dude. So it's supposed to be near the portal that leads to waterfront. Which is up there. Let me just kill these keepers real quick. Actually, I'm just going to buy the Vesper. Whoops, didn't mean to kill that zombie. So it's supposed to be around here somewhere. Do I see a microphone? Microphone. Is there a microphone? Maybe over here? Okay, I think I got it. Oh, it's bug round. Okay, I think I collected it. I want to see I did. The only way to find out is to go to the burlesque and find out. So, let's go see if the microphone is there. <laughs> so, yeah, if the microphone is actually there on the stage, we did it. Let's see. This one's called Cold Hard Cash. It is there. It is there. There it is! This song's really, really good. I like the song a lot. It's nice and, like, calm, which is such an interesting song to have for zombies. You know, zombies is such an intense game mode most of the time. And, uh, you know, having a calming song like this is actually kind of cool. It's also kind of, like, creepy, I guess, because of how Shadows is. Like, how demonic it is and having a calming song like this. It's kind of twisted, man. <laughs> Now we're on to Dur Eisendrak. Now on Dur Eisendrak, we actually go back to the basics. We gotta go around the map interacting with teddy bears again. And the song that plays after we interact with all the teddy bears is called Dead Again. We really just gotta turn power on and go to the rocket. All the areas are pretty easy to get to. I don't really even need that many points, to be honest. Honestly, we just leave now. So I'm gonna start going this way because there is a teddy bear in the Samantha's room. This is what I've always seen. Uh, I've actually never interacted with all the teddy bears, but I have seen this specific one because I pass by every time here whenever I try to get the wisps. See, so yeah, it's right here. There we go. All right, so we got power on. I'm pretty sure now all I need to do is just get enough for the rockets. And then, yeah, that's pretty much the last door up because power opens up quite a bit of doors. Plus, it opens up the door that we need to get to Jug. And there is a teddy bear apparently on top of crates. It's supposed to be near Jug somewhere. I don't think I've seen this teddy bear, though. My dumbass tried to interact with the teddy bear on the box. Is it in here somewhere? That's definitely not creepy. Oh, here it is. Got it. There we go. Interacted with that. All right, let's try to get 2k points now. I might be able to use that nuke to my advantage. I'm going to I'm going to pop it. I'm going to pop it. It'll end round and I'll just wait in here. All right, perfect. We got just well, we have just enough. So, this last teddy bear is supposed to be in one of the trucks. I don't think I've seen it in this truck. This is the one where this this has a skull in the back. I don't think it would have the teddy bear in it. Um, so let's check the other side. Whoa. Oh, there it is. Yep. We got it. Ow. I really died. God bless it. 
we didn't even get to listen to the entire song now we're on to one of my favorite maps Zetsubo no Shima. so here we have to activate the song called dead flowers and the way we activate it is by interacting with three sock monkeys interesting why they use sock monkeys let me know down below in the comments why it is sock monkeys i actually have no idea um but if you guys do know let me know i always say this but it's so easy to collect points at the beginning of a game on Zetsubo no Shima because the spawn room has super fast spawns and honestly you just go through the rounds crazy fast I'm pretty interested to see the sock monkeys though. I want to see what they look like in game. I don't think I've ever seen one. We do got to go into the bunker area. We got to go down to where the KT is at. So we got to at least have power on. So there's supposed to be a sock monkey somewhere around here. Oh, this is it. Wow, that looks super obvious actually. <laughs> like if you look out for that, that looks very, very obvious. Also, I forgot to get the freaking bucket. Son of a bless. I mean, I don't know what the hell I expected to see from the sock monkey. I mean, it's just a sock monkey. It definitely does look a little bit out of place, which is hilarious. And there we go. We got green water. The good thing about this too, while turning power on, we do have another sock monkey in this lab as well. So it's supposed to be in the top floor of this lab. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, there it is. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that sock monkey looks hilarious i can't get over it i'm pretty sure we don't need full power on i just gotta go down there i think i've honestly never tried going to the other parts of the map without power is it actually somewhere here dude i've never seen it here oh no let me just go by the hvk because this thrasher is gonna get me killed Okay, sweet. So it's supposed to be somewhere here. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, we got it, baby. I don't know how that Thrasher did not do damage to me. That was weird. <laughs> Damn you. Now we're moving on to Garad Krovi, where we have three Easter egg songs. We got two of them that are activated by interacting with three different things around the map. And we have one where we're gonna do a hide and seek game. So that sounds pretty interesting. Let's get to it. We should knock this out pretty fast as long as we get monkey bombs early on. That'd be awesome. If I can just get monkey bombs, that's it. That is all I want. Which actually getting monkey bombs on Grad Krovi is actually kind of rare for me. I usually don't get monkey bombs. I, I kind of get lucky with the Mark III sometimes. But man, monkey bombs, I never see them. I mean, to be honest, I don't really get lucky with monkey bombs on Black Ops 3. Um, if I play like Shadows or Rev, I sometimes get lucky with the little Arnies, but... You know, the monkey bombs on other maps, bro, I never get them. So the first song we're going to be going for is called Dead Ended. And the way we get it is by interacting with vodka bottles around the map. This is going to be the easiest to knock out at the beginning too, because there are two bottles that are literally on the way to power, which is perfect. Hopefully we'll have the entire map open by the time the first Easter egg song is done. Since we can't activate two at the same time, um, you know, we're going to have to do something and... We'll hopefully have the whole map open. Dude, imagine playing in a game and you have like five songs playing at the same time. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. All right, so I guess we can start opening up the map. So we have the first vodka bottle on a couch somewhere here. I don't remember which one it is, but I've seen it before. Yeah, there it is. This green bottle. Did I activate it? I think I did. I should have. Okay, I that should be activated right there, but that is the first one. And then there is another one right here by this truck. It's right here. There we go. And then the final vodka bottle is over there in the supply depot. Um, and it's apparently on a crate. I don't think I've seen that third one, but I've definitely seen these two. Let's see. It's supposed to be on a shelf. Oh, maybe it's over here, actually. Oh, 
We see some bottles. Those are not it. It's gotta be green. Oh, there it is. And there's the first song. Dead Ended. Oh, this sounds badass, though. We should start heading to the mystery box. Let's go see if I can get the monkeys. Reagan Mark III first box? <laughs> Shut the hell up. Bruh. Yes. No way. <laughs> no way in hell that just happened. Bruh, what is my luck, man? What is my actual luck? Alright, I think the song's over. Is it? Yeah, it is. Okay, so. Now, moving on to the second Easter egg song. I'm pretty excited for this one. It's the Ace of Spades song by Motorhead. So, we actually have to collect ace of spades playing cards which is freaking sick i like that a lot and the first card is apparently in the area over here next to double tap so let's see can i find the card it's somewhere over here oh is it this it has to be all right so the second one's over here in dragon command near here i mean the cards are pretty obvious they do stick out quite a lot I say that as I don't find it. <laughs> I've been scratched before, believe me. Is it here? Oh, it is. Okay, there it is. Aw, oh, damn, we actually have to unlock Pack-a-Punch. Uh, I wasn't really working towards that. <laughs> we actually have to go there for this last card, so let's start working on Pack-a-Punch. God, this spot brings back memories. Bro, I've gone down so many times, but I'm invincible. That's the thing. Like, it, it, uh, yeah, I've gone down 12 times. I'm just, I'm, it's because I'm it's because i just invincible. I'm not invincible. I'm not invincible. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm not invincible. No. I genuinely think that Valkyries are probably the most annoying, like, special zombie. These things are just not fun to deal with at all. Like, Hellhounds aren't that bad, but they're at least easy to kill. But these guys, they're sometimes pretty difficult. Especially if you don't have, if you don't have the Mark III. Sometimes it's kind of hard to actually kill them. I gotta say, though, I've really enjoyed the process of doing this video. Like, I don't know. I really have never activated many Easter egg songs. Like I said, I mean, there's really only two or three that I've really done. And... That's about it. But the Easter egg songs are pretty fun to activate. Alright, and there we go. The last part. Now we can finally get Pack-a-Punch. So, this last card should be to the right of the Pack-a-Punch machine. Let's see. It's supposed to be wedged in like a book or something. Oh, there it is. Let's go! This song is so good too. I mean, come on, man. It's, it's so good. All right, so the Ace of Spades song is over now. Uh, time to move on to the last song, which is Samantha's Sorrow. And, of course, we need the monkey bombs to actually activate that song. So, let's see how long it takes for me to get the monkey bombs. I think I'm pretty much just going to camp the entire time. It's very easy to camp with the Mark Threes. So, I just got to stack up on some points now. And hopefully i get some more fire sales. Oh, what? No way. We actually got it. Let's go. Okay, so to start this uh, quest, what we got to do is throw the monkeys into the fire of the dragon. So we're going to wait for the dragon to come by. We got to do it in three different areas. And I mean, so far, the dragon's been breathing fire everywhere I go. So hopefully that luck continues and we could throw our monkeys into it. But I'm going to wait here for the first one. We'll actually just save the zombie. Actually, I might kill it. Uh, the monkey might actually kill it, but hopefully we will get this done. Oh, hell yeah. All right. Let's get the monkey ready. And then throw it into the fire. Does it still work? <laughs> Jeez, poor monkey. Okay, it does blow up. 
So that's one fire. Okay, perfect. So we'll wait here in this area um, during this round. And I'm sure the dragon's going to troll me and actually come here in the middle of the round. I knew it. I knew it. All right. For monkey. Oh, wait. Did I throw him too late? Yeah, I did. Wait. So you have to throw the monkey after he breathes fire. Ah, oh, that sucks. I just wasted a monkey. Good thing I noticed that, though, because he wasn't screaming. He was doing the normal um, monkey bomb sound. So, ah, uh, oh, damn, that sucks. That sucks. Okay. All right, now we have a max ammo. We just gotta wait for the dragon to come. I don't think he's been to this area in a good minute, so... I'm just gonna stay here. I don't think it's a good idea to, like, move around too much. Because, um... Like, what if I move to spawn and he comes immediately here and breathes fire? That would suck so much. So I'm just gonna wait here. Oh, and there is one next time. Yep, here is the fire. Let's hold monkey. Hurry up, dragon. And then we monkey it. There it is. It did work. Perfect. So now there should be a Samantha doll, I believe. Yep, we completed a challenge. Should be over here in spawn. Actually, let me get one zombie and then we'll go. I don't want to uh, risk it. Because we're going to have to do the hide and seek game once I collect it. Oh, right here. Ah, okay. So, now we've got to find five Samantha dolls um, around the map. And they're apparently playing a sound, which will hopefully make it easier. I'm most definitely going to run out of time, but I decided to look up the locations because this is actually kind of hard. Oh, we failed it. Damn it. Now, the good thing is we can just go right back up to the tombstone and do the exact same thing over again. We don't actually have to end the round or anything. I love, love that because, boy, I probably would have got this Easter egg song on round 30 or something. This is actually a hard one. The question I have, though, is I wonder if the Samantha dolls are in the same spot every time. Like, for example, if I get the first two dolls and then I fail, do they go back to the same spot or is it random again? It would be hell if it was uh, random all the time. Still haven't found it. Damn. Damn it. We failed it again. Ah, this is going to take a good minute. The good thing is I'm kind of learning where some of the locations are, so... If I ever do get one of them to spawn there, I kind of know some of them. So, I'm actually learning something. But I mean, so far from the times that I've failed, it seems like the dolls... Oh, never mind. They do change. Aw, oh, damn. They're completely random then. Actually, did it TP over here? Did I see that? Oh, boy. You actually kind of do see when it TPs. Whoa. That was pretty lucky then. I was really hoping that it wouldn't be completely random every time. But I'm glad it was because I actually lost a little bit of hope. I thought that it was like glitched or something to where I couldn't see the dolls. Oh, I hear it. It's right here. sound is pretty obvious i just need one more i think oh i hear it's up here oh boy that scared the hell out of me okay well that really is quite fortuitous now we should be getting there it is <laughs> hey yes that was kind of cool actually that one definitely sucked up a lot of time though it was definitely worth it though it's cool experience for sure now we're on to revelations 
where we only have one easter egg song it's called the gift and we got activated by interacting with three different teddy bears around the map i have seen a couple of these teddy bears but i haven't actually collected them all to actually activate the song so yeah i'm pretty interested to see what it sounds like we just got to go over to mob of the dead kino and verrocked we don't have to go into the apothecate at all or do anything else so this should be very very fast all right i think we're gonna go through this side since we'll be able to hit mob of the dead and then we'll hit verrocked and then kino on this side it's probably the best way to go about this this teddy bear here is i think the one that everybody has activated at one point there should be another teddy bear here i think i've seen this one as well somewhere aha the final teddy bear is in kino in a chair in front of the pot i think i've seen this one actually as well yep right there easy collapse the gift. Let's see what this sounds like. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one. All the songs on BO3 are pretty solid. This is not a battle we Here we are on Black Ops 4 9. Now, the song that we have to activate is called Mad Hatter. And the way we activate it is by shooting four coins in each one of these towers. So, yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. I've never seen these coins before. I wonder how easy they are to spot so let's get to it i mean to be honest i haven't really played black ops 4 in a long time either i don't even know why the hell I have the welling as my starting weapon what is this and obviously just like with black ops 3 we are not going to be doing any of the remix songs so unfortunately we're not going to be doing the blood of the dead where are we going remix plus my the dead's version of that song is way way better so we're not missing out on much and also we're not going to be using any elixirs since of course and it's kind of like cheating. I mean, it would have made it way more uh, easier, a little bit faster for some of these maps. But, you know, the fun of it is to actually build up points and just go over to the Easter Egg song. Oh, insta-kill. We are going to need quite a bit of points since we do want to uh, open up a bunch of doors. Bro, this, like, this map is so cool, man. I, I like the idea of this so much. What's going to suck is having to get used to the new point system. It's going to be a little bit harder to get points. What the hell? I didn't even mean to do that. What the hell is this? I did not want to do that. I uh, do apologize. I did not want to do that. All right, let's just buy a weapon real quick. I have no ammo. All right, so we have a coin in this area here. We have a green coin, which should be somewhere outside of the map that you can see from here. Let's see. So it's supposed to be over here in this window somewhere. Let's see. I can't even look. Oh, God. Damn. I got to pull up my weapon. All right, we're chilling. All right, let's see. So it's somewhere. Oh, I see. I see. I, see. I thought it was going to be on the wall or something. Okay. There we got one. Then here in the raw tower, there is one all the way at the bottom, it seems like. I'm going to try and save a zombie. Actually, I'll save a couple of zombies. Um... Let's go all the way down there. It should be down here. And next to a chest. Or no, it's behind a chest. It's a red coin. Behind the chest. Bro, why do these zombies have to be so fast? Oh, I see, I see, I see it. Oh my goodness, yo. <laughs> bo 4 zombies are no joke, but it's only round four. There we go. We got it. I guess with the box, it's a little bit cheaper than having to buy a weapon. Let's see what we get. Oh, shut the hell up. What? What is this? What am I playing right now? <laughs> we actually got the Death of Orion first box hit. <laughs> what is this luck? BO4 wants me to come back. I literally have not played Black Ops 4 in so long, man. It's been a very, very long time. The odds are stacked against ah, we don't have enough points. Alright, so this is Zeus, right? Away. Yeah, it's Zeus. Okay, so uh, there's a pink coin next to a tower on the top floor. So let's see. 
I might actually I might actually have to buy another weapon though. How much is this? 3k! God bless! Oh what the hell it's right there! Wait, can I get it with this? I can. Okay. <laughs> oh what oh my god, it's dragon dragons? What in the world? It's a tiger round. Wait, what? That tiger scared the shit out of me. Now there's one last coin over here. It is a blue coin. And it is on the bottom floor near the entrance. I just kind of want to clear some of these zombies out. I'll definitely take that. Alright, so it should be somewhere in here. Where the hell could it be? Oh my god, right there. Alright, we got the blue coin. Ah, oh, but I can't shoot it with this. I think the bullet's too big. You gotta be kidding me. How much is this? 15? Bro, why is everything so expensive? <laughs> Wait, I actually can't get it. Come on, last zombie. No! I just need 30 points! Wait, you actually can't get it with this? Wait, I wonder if I can get it with the grenade. Big brain, big brain, big brain. It did! What? It actually got it. Okay, nice. So that should be the last coin. Mad Hatter is a very good song. There it is. Hey. This is a badass song, yo. This is literally like one of the most perfect songs for zombies. Like it fits zombies so well. What the hell? What is wrong with this champion? Man was moonwalking. Wait, is he like... I think he's uh... <laughs> Alright, well, we're done with 9. Let's move over to Voyage of Despair. Ha ha ha! Get pranked, we actually are doing Blood of the Dead. Let's go! And it's gonna be fast as hell, because it's pretty much the same thing as Mob of the Dead. The timer is gonna be a little bit messed up right now. So, what we're gonna do is... I'm just gonna time this gameplay separately and then add it at the end of the video. It should be like five minutes though. This is gonna be really, really fast. All we gotta do is just build the spectral shield and then go to the Citadel Tunnel again and enter in 115 into the numbers instead of 935. Bro, the catwalk is so scary. I remember the first time I played Mall of the Dead. I thought the catwalk was so annoying because of the zombies being able to do some damage to you through the walls. Alright, come on, Brutus. We're going to need the key from you. Where you at? Holy crap. <laughs> holy crap, holy crap. I forgot they actually made Brutus a little bit stronger. Alright, so there we go. We got the key. That is one of the parts for the shield. Right, there we go. There's the door. I did pick it up, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, wait. Actually, we gotta go back to the top. We need the uh, blue orb thing. It was literally right here, too. I'm just gonna build a shield up here, too. I'm gonna have to go all the way to the bottom for another buildable bench. I might as well just use this one while I'm here. There we go. We got the spectral shield. Now we do got to get some souls, actually, so we can shoot some stuff. Okay, we have one spirit blast. Alright, we need to put in one. One. Oh my god. Get off of me. One. And then... No, I missed it! Five. There we go. But there we go. We're done with Blood of the Dead. I'll just add this map's time to the end of the video. So at the end of the video, we'll talk about it. This is just the icing on the fucking Here we are on Voyage of Despair, where we got to activate the song Drowning. And what we do is by shooting coins again. This time we do get to open up pretty much most of the map. So hopefully we can do this pretty fast. But we got to get some points to start off with. I mean, if I'm being honest, Voyage of Despair is probably my least favorite zombies map ever uh, in Treyarch Zombies. This is uh, just not my favorite map, man. I just, I don't know, man. I've played it a lot. Trust me, I've done the Easter egg so many times with a couple of friends. I've played the map casually, but I just cannot get it, man. I, I really do not like this map. 
All right, so there should be a green coin near this box. Perfect. I mean, I guess we'll start going. I always lose myself on the bridge, bro. <laughs> always. So we have the artifact now. We pretty much have most of them opened up. Um, there is another coin here. Purple coin. But yeah, these things are super hidden, bro. Oh my god, I'm out of ammo. Get me a gun. Here's another. And then we got one more, which is on a lifeboat over in the sun deck. Hey, we got the homunculus. There it is. I haven't heard the song either. And that, as they say, is that. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> this has still got to be one of my favorite intro cutscenes. It is God tier, bro. God tier. It's classified time, and we got to activate the song called Shockwave by interacting with some vodka bottles around the map. It's pretty nice. <laughs> Gotta love that it's going back to the vodka bottle, so let's get to it. Should not take too long at all. Bro, playing classified after so long feels so weird. Like, something about it, man. It just does not feel right. Okay, so there should be a vodka bottle around here. It's on a filing cabinet. Let's see. Is it in the middle? Vodka bottle. Ah, there it is. Yes, sir. This is also going to be one of the best round change sounds, too. Black Ops 4 has some really, really good round change songs. I really like the Alpha Omega one and the Classified ones. Those are both some solid round change songs, bro. They're really, really good. The Cat 40, I'll take it. Or Cat 45, I mean. Is that Kino? What the flip? I just noticed. That's the alley, isn't it? Yeah, because that's double tap. What the hell? I've never noticed that. Dude, that's pretty cool. <laughs> what the hell? I'm probably super late on that. That is awesome, though. All right, so there's um a vodka bottle somewhere here. It's under one of these control panel thingamajiggies. Oh, there it is. Yep. God, this looks way more creepy. For many years, I to a many what a piggy. I'm going to keep you alive this time. So there's one in here. Um, oh, right here, right here. We did it! So far, I've really enjoyed most of the BO4 Easter egg songs. Cherik actually did something good with BO4. So it looks like there is a bit of a trend here on Black Ops 4. Seems like the coin thing is uh, going to be on quite a few maps. So here on Dead of the Night, we got to shoot four more coins to play the song Mystery. Jeez, all four of these spawned in this barrier? <laughs> Damn. That was the right thing to do. All right, so this is where one of the first coins is at. It's over here by this purple coin. Got him. Then there's going to be one here in the hallway, but I think it's Sadly, I fear suffer It's in here somewhere. Ah, oh, wait, it's over here. There it is. The green coin. The third one is going to be here in the wine cellar. Next to one of these barrels. Oh, there it is. There it is. 
All right, so this is where the last coin is. I got to get rid of some of these zombies, though. They might get in the way. But it's up here. I got to open this door, too. All right, it is right there. Aha. Okay, off rip. This does sound pretty good. Dude, I'm actually going to have to make a list of some of these songs to save in a playlist or something. <laughs> Here we are on Ancient Evil, where again, we got to shoot some coins, so let's get the hell to it. It's pretty cool that this map actually starts you off with the zombies already spawned in, kind of like transit. I like that a lot. You just get points easily, and plus you end the round pretty fast. The Easter egg song on Ancient Evil is called Stormbound, and the first coin is here in the marketplace. I believe it's somewhere. Yep, it's right there. There it is. <laughs> My aim is so bad. We have another coin right there. Tell you, man, these things are hidden AF. For the last two coins, we're going to need to activate Pegasus. Got him. This is such a cool animation. I never saw, I swear I will cut out his black heart. All right, that was the third coin, and now the final coin is under this table. I think it's the red one, right? Yep. Perfect. There we go. Easter egg quest complete. Let's see what this one sounds like. I got stuck. No. Now we're on to one of my favorite maps on Black Ops 4, Alpha Omega, where there are two Easter egg songs. One where we're going to interact with three Atom Heads around the map. And then one where we're going to do something with Rushmore. And anything with Rushmore is top tier. So I'm excited to hear that one. <laughs> but yeah, Alpha Omega is such a great map. I don't know why I get so much hate, really. Uh, the Easter egg is hella fun. Playing the map in general as a casual player is fun as hell. Uh, it's just a fun map, dude. Like, I think I've done this Easter egg 50 times in the past. It is so good. Yep, and then the round change. It's just so weird and creepy how it goes from, you know, a nice, happy song into, like, a sad, dark theme it's just so crazy the first easter egg song we're going to be activating is called i am the well and we get it by interacting with the atom heads and there's one right here the second atom head is here in the lounge it's supposed to be on a red chair uh next to a pool table oh there it is okay sweet Hey, hey, hey. The music is top tier on this map. Aha! <laughs> so there it is. The first Easter egg song is activated. Now time to activate the second one. It's called Frequency. And the way we activate it is by putting a code into Rushmore. That song was really really good i really like that easter egg song whoever found out how to unlock rushmore for the first time is crazy bro <laughs> like the steps to get the code bro how how did they find that out man code there it is now we're gonna go to the beds area hey hey this is it <laughs> Hey. <laughs> this is actually a sick one. So this is the last Easter egg song technically. Um for Alpha Omega. Time to move on to the last song for Black Ops 4. Bro, look at these. It's only round nine. It's only round nine. Can you believe this right now? It is only round nine. <laughs> this is crazy. Bro, why is the music so good? Just why, man? Why? Even the game over sound is so good. 
I'm telling you, man, if you hate Alpha Mega skill issue, unfortunately. Here we are on another one of my favorite Black Ops 4 maps, Tagged or Toen. Now, there is two Easter egg songs, again, very similar to Alpha Omega. The first Easter egg song is going to be A Light from the Shore, which you actually get by interacting with three weapons that reference the original Call of the Dead characters, which I absolutely love. So I'm definitely ready to do this. And then the second Easter egg song is activated by us interacting with the metal door where the Ultimus crew were stuck in, in Call of the Dead. And that song is called Reflections. So there is a machete somewhere around here. Aha, so the machete is right there. We just got to go around now. Oh, I hope Misty doesn't see how impoverished I am. <laughs> He's worried about Misty. Alrighty, so here's the machete. Hell yes. I love that. That is in reference to Danny Trejo. Here's the sickle. It's pretty cool how it's right next to where the sickle wall by was at. Gotta love it. Take this. And take that. Take this. <laughs> I could really use a few more clips of ammo. That's... You have this zip line handle up there. How long have you been here anyway? Let's get the flip out of here. Got him, got him, got him. Oh, we're here. Pitchfork. Hear the song. Should activate. Is it playing? Yep. Yes, it is. Good. I was about to say, I think I messed something up. <laughs> Very subtle, but it's not a bad thing. Is that what the hell is that? Is that the dynamite thing? I think that is. But I'm pretty sure it's because I killed the special zombie with the snowball. I don't remember that I did that, but I guess I did. Because we got dynamite. <laughs> It's kind of weird that we didn't have to pick up an item that referenced the other Call of Dead character. I don't actually know his name. I always call him Merle because he has Merle from The Walking Dead. But I guess he doesn't have a like signature weapon. All the other characters did. But uh, yeah, I guess he just did not get a reference. <laughs> it sucks to suck. All right. So there's the song. It's finally over. So the next Easter egg song is activated by us knocking on this door three times there it is very subtle as well but that that that's definitely something very dead ops arcadey i like it a lot and this is also like the little theme that plays whenever you're doing the easter egg which i do like the easter egg is top tier man i love the tag your tone easter egg now we're on D Machine, where we got one Easter egg song. It is called Alone, and we got to interact with some cassettes around the map, so should not be too difficult either. And what's actually good about Black Ops 4 and Cold War, or I guess what's cool about it, is that uh, it tells you the location you're in, so it makes it a lot easier to actually find these cassette tapes. Alrighty, there is power. And there actually is a cassette tape over in this area too can i ring a fire with my fists 
Oh my god, I can. What? <laughs> Come on, zombies. I literally just got an achievement for getting 25 kills with my fists. I, like, never hit with my fists. And I think I got those 25 kills this game. Which is surprising as hell. Okay, so I don't see... God, it's so dark. I think I accidentally picked it up um, <laughs> whenever I was spamming F, but it should have been there. All right, here's the second good set tape. That thing is so damn small. Holy crap. And then the last cassette tape is over here in Noct, which is pretty cool. I like that it's in Noct. It's weird that this is called the living room. Okay, so it should be in this bridge. Yep, there it is. Yeah, this sounds pretty good. <laughs> Moving on to Firebase Z. Again, we got to go over some cassette tapes. We got to open up a bit of the map as well. Shouldn't take too long. I mean, the D-Machine one took a couple of minutes. It wasn't that bad. This should be pretty easy. And this time we're using the E-Tool because metal weapons on Cold War are clearly superior. The first cassette tape should be in here, and the song title for the Seasteric song is Lost. It is pretty cool. I think I might have picked it up. It's supposed to be in this area, I believe. Yeah, I should have got it. I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> They're so small, I couldn't see it. Okay. Oh, there it is. See how small that thing is? Bro, I'm telling you, man. I always forget you can mantle in Cold War. It sucks I gotta actually turn power on to get this last cassette tape. It's above the Pack-A-Punch, but in the room where the door is closed. And open that door, you have to turn power on, so it kind of sucks. This actually will take up a little bit of time. I mean, it's not too bad. Finally, we're done with that. Holy crap, that zombie went flying. <laughs> All right, here's the last cassette. There it is. Got it. All right, for a second, I thought I didn't activate it, but it's uh, very quiet right now. This is an uh, interesting choice for an Easter egg zone. I don't know how I feel about this one. It's all right. It's all right. Here we are on Mauritur Toen, one of my favorite Black Ops Cold War maps. Where, again, we got to do the cassettes. I mean, again, the good thing about this is that it's actually pretty fast. So, we, uh, so we'll definitely be able to knock this one out very fast. The first cassette tape is here where you upgrade Klaus. And also, the song title for Mauder Toen is Amoeba. Which is a pretty good song. Aha, here's the first cassette tape. It's on top of a mannequin. <laughs> oh, right here. I got it. Ah, damn. There's so many zombies here. Looks like we do have to actually turn power on. Luckily, we're right next to it. Aha. There it is. Hey, <laughs> this is a classic. Now we're on to Forsaken. We actually have to do a bit of a quest that involves PhD Slider. So it's no longer the cassettes. I wonder why they switched it up for Forsaken, but now we actually have to do a bit of a quest and it looks kind of fun. So I'm kind of ready for this. You know what? I'm feeling a little bit wild. Let's go ahead and pop this off for a little bit. We'll buy Jug. Why not? We have a ton of points. I'm sure it'll come in handy a little bit later. Be... 
I always like to start off any Forsaken game with a ray gun, especially since the last step for this Easter egg song quest is to do a lockdown. Getting the ray gun is going to be really, really helpful. Don't do me like this, Ronald Ray Gun. You better give me the Ray Gun, bro. E Tool vs. Abomination. Ah, damn it. I thought I got out of the way. Let's go, baby. Actually, how much is PhD again? Do I have enough? I don't think I do. Isn't it 2k? Oh, it's 3k. Oh, it's because I have um Jug. Damn, 3k. Come on, give me the ray gun, please. Why? Why must you do this to me, dude? There really is nothing bad about doing the Ronald Ray Gun quest because, you know, either way I got a bunch of salvage. Um, which is really, really good, but can we finish it off with the ray gun? Of course not. I haven't done that Easter egg in so long, <laughs> and I did not get the ray gun. Damn you. All right, well, let's get this quest started. So once we get PhD, there is a couple of spots around the map where we're going to actually jump on with the explosion effect, and it drops either a power-up or a bunny that we need. So uh, there is only three of them, though, which isn't too bad, and there's one right here wow we actually got the bunny first try no way okay um so we got to stuff the bunny inside of the back of this bubby the only problem is i do want to pack a punch real quick because we do got to do a lockdown and i did see that if you fail the lockdown you actually have to start an entire game all over again to have another chance at doing this so i'd rather play it safe and actually buy some perks and also get um some good weapons <laughs> to actually be able to do this because I don't want to risk this It would be super annoying if I had to do this multiple times I think I'm just gonna pack a bunch of e-tool and maybe hit the box see what I get out of it Maybe I'll get the wonder weapon or a wonder weapon. That would be awesome And I also did switch over to ring of fire to help out a little bit, too Oh, yes. Let's go. We actually got the ray gun. Holy crap. Thank God the box at least blessed me. It's kind of crazy we didn't get it from out of the ray gun, but <laughs> I'm just glad we got it. And we got ring of fire too. I'm going to actually pack a punch this though, just to make sure we get this. I normally have really bad luck when trying to get wonder weapons out of the box. Normally, I get them from doing the trials. That's where I have, like, the best luck with it. And I still think that doing the trials for the wonder weapons is way, way better than hitting the box. But, I mean, hey, I actually got really lucky this time. All right. Tapped the ray gun. Now let's do this lockdown. All righty, so we got to stuff the bunny inside of this. Very weird process, but you got to trust it. Why does it not give me the option to put it in? Wait, what? Wait, why doesn't it give me the option to put it in? Wait, hello? It opened for me. It's supposed to let me uh, put it in. Hold on. Oh, what? There we go. I don't know why that like didn't work for a bit. Oh my god, holy crap. That noise scared the hell out of me. Oh, and there's freaking hounds, too. What the? There's... Wait, he throws cheeseburgers? No way. Okay, that's hilarious. <laughs> okay, so it's a two-minute lockdown. Doesn't seem too bad at all. I guess we'll just spam this spot over here. Oh, okay. They're starting to spawn over here, too. Wait, what was that? Is that a boss? Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, hell no. We got Krasnys up in here? Let me pop. Oh, yes, Max ammo. That is perfect. I needed that. Hey, yo. 
This is actually kind of kind of intense. I didn't think that this would be that crazy for an Easter egg song. Look at that, dude. The health is going down crazy fast. 37 seconds, though. Hell no, Krasny. Get out of here, my brethren. Oh my god, there's two Krasnys. Twenty seconds. Give me the insta kill. Pop the freaking ring of fire. Holy crap, yo, this is actually hard. Eight seconds, eight seconds. Come on, hurry up. Man. <laughs> I did not expect that. That was way, way crazier. Alright, and then we should get the Easter egg song somewhere there. Okay, yeah, it's right here. Samantha's Ballad. Ending it off with Samantha's Ballad. What? <laughs> Dude, what the hell? All that just for this Easter egg song? My days. I mean, we did get a lot of salvage. It is a big chest. So, I guess it is worth it if you uh, do need some more loot. But if you're doing just for the Easter egg song, might not be worth it too much. But that is going to be the end of this video hope you guys did enjoy this challenge was a lot of fun it took seven hours and 11 minutes to get every single main easter egg song on every map this was absolutely crazy this is by far the longest video i've ever made as well uh, i think the last one was like almost an hour but this is almost two hours also, let's go ahead and add this time and the Blood of the Dead time that I had. So without Blood of the Dead, it was 7 hours and 11 minutes. And then Blood of the Dead took 6 minutes and 56 seconds. So once we add that together, that is 7 hours, 17 minutes, and 56 seconds. We were actually successful in doing all of this in under 8 hours, which is crazy. That is awesome. If you guys did enjoy this sort of content, make sure to like button, subscribe if you guys are new. Comment down below which other challenge I should do next. And let me know what your favorite Easter egg song is down below. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care, fellas. Have a good one. Peace out. See ya.